With polls in Gujarat just a week away, the campaign is getting murkier. Chief Minister Narendra Modi's latest war cry at an election rally at Mangrol in South Gujarat yesterday has upped the stakes. Well, uh, here's uh, what a newspaper today quotes Modi as saying at the rally. As Modi asked the crowd, quote, what should be done to a man who stored illegal arms and ammunition? You tell me, what should have been done to Saurabuddin, unquote. The crowd apparently replied, and I quote again, kill him, kill him, unquote. In response, Modi said, and I quote once again, well, that is it. Do I have to take Sonia Gandhi's permission to do this? Hang me if I've done anything wrong, unquote. Although Saurabuddin was killed in what was then termed an encounter with the police in Ahmedabad on the 26th of November 2005, that case came to the national limelight after a CBI investigation submitted a report to the Supreme Court earlier this year that that encounter had been Manjara is still in jail. It's suspected that Saurabuddin's wife, Kausar B, could have also been killed by the police in custody at around the same time. That matter is still being heard in the Supreme Court. Well, NDTV's Rohit Bhan joins us now for more on that story. Rohit, uh, Narendra Modi saying Saurabuddin Sheikh deserved what he got. Now, while there is a big cloud over Saurabuddin's past, his possible criminal links, the case is on in the Supreme Court. That's the important thing. The court's still deciding who's guilty or who's not. So, was the Chief Minister justified in making a statement like this? Hello. Uh, though he has been making these indirect references to Sohrabuddin on earlier occasions, but perhaps this is the first time that he is uh, almost owning it up, saying that the encounter did take place in Gujarat. And mind you, it is his state home department, it is his police, which has gone to the Supreme Court, the, the inquiry committee, the special investigation team, which has told the Supreme Court that it was in fact a fake encounter, and three police officers have already been arrested in this uh, particular case. Uh, so clearly, uh, in a way, Modi justifying and uh, owning up to the fact that that encounter has, has taken place and it was his police which had done so. Uh, what we've been told by BJP sources is that perhaps the chief minister is upset with the kind of response he's getting for the last uh, five to six uh, public meetings which he has held in South Gujarat and Central Gujarat. He's perhaps realizing he's not getting the kind of response uh, which he should have got to the development of the plank on which he's uh, fighting election. That's the reason why many in the BJP believe that he is uh, slowly and slowly moving back to the hardline Hindutva approach and that's the reason why uh, up, uh, uh, using Sorabuddin to up the ante and uh, you know, t target uh, the opposition. Right. Uh, this is not the first time, though, that uh, Narendra Modi has touched upon uh, the issue of Sorabuddin Sheikh's killing. Uh, why has the Congress in the state been so wary to touch upon this matter? Well, Ankita, uh, more than the BJP, uh, in fact, it's the Congress which finds itself in a very uh, tight spot. In fact, uh, they, the leaders seem very confused on this issue. If you could recall, even on the Talca expose, uh, where uh, some BJP le uh, leaders were shown, uh, VSP parliamentary activists were shown, uh, uh, giving some chilling remarks. Even on those issues, the Congress had uh, adopted a guarded response and not come out openly on that issue. And the Sarabadin encounter particularly, the Congress has all along uh, been adopting a guarded response. Obviously, their eye is on uh, a huge chunk of Hindu vote bank, particularly the travel vote bank in the central and south Gujarat uh, region. It's uh, clearly uh, more to do with politics. The elections are around the corner. It's just a week left for the first phase of election. Uh, so clearly, Congress knows that if it gives some kind of a reaction uh, on the Sorabuddin uh, um, uh, encounter case, Modi is uh, definitely going to exploit that and you know try to um, utilize it to his advantage. All right, Rohit, thanks very much for joining us with those details.